Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Aquaculture 2, which in my opinion is the must-have fishing mod for Minecraft 1.17.1. Aquaculture adds in all sorts of truly incredible fishing basically updates and upgrades to Minecraft. Not only can you add in things like hooks, it also like to your fishing rods, you, fishing rods, you can customize those with hooks and different lines and things like that. There's also different types of fishing rods. You can start those with your base. There's also this custom armor. You can see it right here. This beautiful custom armor, custom tools, all that stuff that it adds in. That is a very, very, not OP, but very, very good and worth getting. On top of that, there's all sorts of custom fish. This just scratches the surface of all the custom fish and things like that that are added in that you can now catch. Aquaculture 2 is by far the best fishing mod out there. And today, we're going to be showing you how to get it. First and foremost, though, we got to keep the lights on here and think... Apex Minecraft Hosting for sponsoring this video. You can check out Apex, the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex is so your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love them just Apex so much that we have our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. Again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Aquaculture 2 up and running for Minecraft 1.17.1. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. It's going to take you here where you want to scroll down and click on the aquaculture 2 or download aquaculture 2 link right here not link but button you want to click right here this orange download button aquaculture 2 bam click that it takes to the official aquaculture 2 download page or you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see minecraft 1.17 by the way you can see all the different fish and stuff it adds absolutely insane but nevertheless once you're on this page, come to the right-hand sidebar, scroll down, and click on the uh, orange download button right here under Minecraft 1.17, next to the Aquaculture 1.17.1 uh, version there. Whew, God, I'm tripping over my words all of a sudden. Anyway, the download will then begin once you click that orange download button, and after a few seconds, it will download in the bottom left. Now, you do want to keep this file on the bottom left. You may need to save it in the screen of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, though. We're not done downloading just yet. There's still one more thing, and that, of course, is the Forge Mod Loader. You can find this, as with everything in this video, in the description down below link. And once you're here, you want to scroll down and click on this green Download Forge button. When you click on that, it's going to take you off to Forge's official website where we want to make sure MC1.17.1 is selected. It is for us automatically, but if it's not for you, go over here to the left-hand sidebar, click on 1.17, and then click 1.17.1. Finally, once we confirmed, it's the correct version here. We can come under download latest and click on installer. Now, when you click on this installer button, put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care because we don't want to click anything on this page whatsoever until we've waited seven seconds. So just sit back, wait, take a, you know, go, go ahead, take a sip of your drink here. Whatever you want to do, doesn't matter. Just kind of sit back, wait a few seconds, and then a red skip button will appear in the top right. See this red skip button? This red skip button is the only thing you want to click on this page whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that red skip button. When we click on that, in the bottom left, automatically Forge will start downloading, or well, it'll basically queue to download. We need to confirm we want to keep it by clicking this keep button here. It's 100% safe to do so as long as Forge is in the title. Mozilla Firefox, same thing. When you click that red skip button, it's going to open up in the center of your screen. You want to make sure you save it on Mozilla Firefox as long as Forge is in the title. We can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we have Aquaculture 2 and Forge, right? <laughs> Our Realtor 2 and Forge are here on our desktop. If these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. No, click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads. And this downloads file folder here, click on that, and then you will find Aquaculture 2 and Forge in your downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get started off with Forge. Now if your logos and icons here are different, that's perfectly okay. Just keep watching the tutorial. I'll show you how to fix that in one second. But first, let's see if we can open up Forge. To do that, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here, or I do have Java, and it just isn't working. Well, in that case, we need to go to the link in the description down below, right here. How to download and install Java 4, you guessed it, Minecraft Mods. It's a special version of Java, and it was actually updated for 1.17.1 recently, different from 1.16. If you had the correct version of Java for 1.16, it will not work with 1.17, so you need to make sure you come here and go through this tutorial. Once you've done that, you can go ahead, and most likely, you're going to be good. However, some of you will still need to do the jar fix. You can find the jar fix, of course, linked in the description down below. And this is a simple program that's going to link all the jar files on your computer back to Java. If your files were messed up, like your icons didn't look like my icons, that is what will fix it. Then we go ahead and minimize our browser. Finally, though, you should be able to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then, of course, going to open up the mod system install for Forge, where you want to click on Install Client and click OK. It's so going to download, do some things, and install Forge for 1.17.1. Once Forge has completed installing, it will say it's been successful and all of that stuff. There it is successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.17.1. If you, for whatever reason, don't successfully install Forge, it's, it's because, it's because. 
you haven't played Minecraft 1.17.1 with no mods, no Optifine, no anything. If that's the case, go play Minecraft 1.17 with no mods, and then you'll be able to install Forge. Now let's go ahead and click on the OK button here. It's going to close out of the installer, and we can install Aquaculture 2. To do this, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and before you hit the play button, we want to make sure we're playing with our Forge installation. So to do that, you can see mine's automatically selected here, but you want to click on this little arrow next to the play button, and then click on Forge. Now as long as it says 1.17.1-Forge under it, you're going to go ahead and click play, and click play again. But if it doesn't say 1.17.1-Forge here, or if you don't have Forge at all on this list, what do you do? Well, go ahead and click on the Installations tab up here at the top. First things first, you want to go ahead and make sure the modded button is checked here. As you can see, I unchecked it. Forge disappeared. We click on modded again. Forge reappears. We're going to go at this point. We can click play. But if you still don't have Forge here or 1.17.1 is not under Forge, you want to click on new installation. Once you just click on new installation, you can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. 1.17.1 grief protected survival. Amazing updates have happened recently at Breakdown Craft, and truly it is the best Minecraft survival server in the multiverse. You want to come play on it, you want to come check it out, but at breakdowncraft.com is the IP. If you check it out in the past, come check it out again, because it's got a lot of updates since you probably last played on it. Now let's just go ahead and click on the Aversion drop down box here, and then we want to click on release 1.17.1 Forge. Click on that, and then we're going to be able to go ahead and set our resolution. You don't have to set your resolution. I'm just doing that because, well, I want you all to be able to see once you get in game. What you need to do is make sure that uh, Forge is selected here under version. Let's go ahead and click on the new green create button. And then we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly, though, it says 1.17.1-Forge under it. Go ahead and hover over that. Click the green play button. Click that you understand you're playing mod in Minecraft. And click play again. Minecraft 1.17.1 will open up and you'll be able to install Aquaculture 2. Yeah, we've not even done that yet, but the hard part's over. Now, it's simple drag and drop. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu with Forge installed. As you can see in the bottom left, it does say Forge there. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, we want to go ahead and click on the Mods tab here. That's, of course, going to open up this little Mods area. And then, in this Mods area, you want to click on the Open Mods folder button in the bottom left. That's then going to open up our Mods folder right like so, where we want to take Aquaculture 2 from our desktop, or Aquaculture here, and drag and drop it into the Mods folder. So take Aquaculture from your desktop and drag and drop it into the Mods folder. If you come back to Minecraft, it's not here, and it's never going to be here until you click Done, and and then quit the game. Then we want to open up the Minecraft launcher and we want to make sure we're playing either the play.breakdowncraft.com profile or our Forge profile. Either one of these is going to work. As long as it says 1.17.1 dashboard under it, we're good to go. Click play. Now Minecraft is going to open up again, this time with Aquaculture installed. Because my computer just can't handle recording and opening up Minecraft at the same time, I'm going to do a quick jump cut until we are on the main menu to showcase Aquaculture 2. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu and here we can go ahead and click on mods and see there is Aquaculture 2. That's kind of confirming it's working right now. The real confirmation though is when we load in game. Let's go ahead and create a new world here. I'm going to make it creative. That's not a requirement, but that just makes things easier to showcase mods. And we're going to name this Aquaculture. So Aquaculture. Let's go ahead, create this new world, and I will see you after a very, very quick jump cut. All right. So here we are in game. We can go ahead, drop down our tackle box and put, for example, some of our tackle in here, right? We can put all of these things. We have also got the redstone hook, the diamond hook. There's a bunch of different hooks. I'll show you a little bit more of those in a second. We've also got the double hook and, of course, our worms. I'm going to go ahead and take this diamond fishing rod and go ahead and put a diamond hook on it and then put some worms on it as well. Now, there is some additional expansion that you can do, but I've just not done that here. If we go ahead and take this out here, we'll see that this is a diamond hook fishing rod. So it's a diamond fishing rod with a diamond hook. We can even see there as it's being thrown, you can see that diamond hook there. Let's go ahead and we'll cast out one time. And while we're kind of waiting on that, we can come over here and see all of the stuff. So this is this armor, by the way, that I was talking about. Let's go ahead and just uh, steal some of this stuff in here. This is crafted with that Neptunium ingots, by the way. But nevertheless, you can see all the different fish that's added in there, quite a bit of different fish, and then all those fish in buckets. And then you've got the tackle box, the Neptune bounty, Neptune block, as well as all the different fishing rods, some of the different kit and things that you can add. Fishing line, you can change your fishing line, a bobber, change your bobber, all sorts of cool stuff there as well. Um, yeah, let's actually do that real fast. I didn't realize that you could put fishing line and a bobber on it. I'm curious how this how this is going to change things. Let's see. Bam, bam. There we go. So now we can go ahead and cast this out and see what happens. Look how good this Neptunium armor looks, by the way. If we go ahead and F4, F5. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I love it. That's awesome. So that's just super OP armor there. I keep uh, accidentally pulling in my pulling in my fishing rod there. We are, at the end of the day, fishing. So <laughs> let's go ahead and see well, what we can catch here. Knowing my luck with fishing in Minecraft, even though there's all of these cool different things that it could be, it's still going to be like a default fish, like a cod or a salmon. Those can still be caught, by the way. So, uh, yeah, it, it's possible. But nevertheless, we will eventually catch something cool here. 
I'm just gonna do a quick jump cut until we do. Boom, there we go. And uh, like I said, my luck was correct. It was, it was a raw salmon. Okay, I'm gonna fish here until we get something cool and then, then we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. There we go. We caught ourselves a small mouth bass. I used to fish those all the time back uh, in Tennessee with my grandfather. So cool smallmouth bass there. Keep fishing here and obviously catch even more cool stuff. But that's not what I'm doing here today. I'm not here to make a fishing video. I'm here to show you how to get aquaculture too, which we have successfully done. Thanks so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.